గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ వెల్కమ్ టు లీగల్ మ్యాటర్స్ బాయ్ సాయిబాబు శంకర సిపిసి క్లాస్ డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ క్లాస్ వై ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ ది అపీల్ ప్లీజ్ రిమెంబర్ అపీల్ ఈజ్ a formal complaint made to the higher court to set aside to reverse the decision of the lower court which a person alleges that it was not fully considered it was wrongly erred or it was not taken into consideration that is to say appeal is the judicial examination of the decision of a lower court by the higher court the inferior court gives a decision trial court gives a decision if anybody has got a discontent if anybody thinks that justice was not done to him he can approach the higher court in the memorandum in the form of memorandum of appeal this is stated in uh, sections 962 112 of the code of civil procedure and uh, cpc in particular it has uh, two appeals one is called the first appeal and the second one is called the second appeal first appeal normally on the decision of the trial court you can go to the district court or presently suppose if you are not satisfied with the decision given by the junior civil judge you can approach the senior civil judge in certain cases as an appellate authority likewise when there is a matter when there is a substantial in matter involving substantial question of law then only according to section 100 cpc you can go for the second appeal if the high court second appeal should be filed in the high court if the high court thinks that the matter the issue of law can't be solved by them and supreme court is only competent yes definitely they can give a certificate and you can approach the supreme court uh, under section 109 of the cpc right so <clears throat> even though the word appeal is not defined no definition of appeal is there in cpc but in the case of nagendra nath day nagendra nath day versus suresh chandra day 1932 the pv council stated that the application please remember of a party to a higher court by application that justice was not done to them by the lower court and asking to set aside or revise the decision of the trial court is called appeal it is having this meaning so what are the elements for filing an appeal number 1 there should be a decision there should be an uh, there should be decision or adjudication or judgment with this, number 2 with that somebody should be agreed somebody should agree means suppose a institute a civil case against b the case is dismissed then a is the agreed party a institute a civil suit against b then it is decreed in favor of a that means b is dissatisfied he can go for appeal suppose a instituted a civil suit against b the court decreed the matter but instead of decreeing it for 10 lakhs it has decreed only for 2 lakhs now here also once again the plaintiff he is dissatisfied he can go for enhancement of the amount of the decree so any party either the plaintiff or the defendant either the jd or the hr they can go for appeal right and uh, please remember the competent authority should be there suppose if the judgment is given by the uh, district court then you have to go to the high court then the second appeal will be to the supreme court like that please remember <coughs> what is appeal is it a statute right or substantive right yes both it was stated in the case of anant mills co limited versus state of gujarat 1975 the right of appeal is a creature of the statute that means according to section 96 there 481 of the bnss likewise a right of appeal is creature of statute and 
<clears throat> the legislator should not impose certain conditions on the right of appeal. This was stated in the case of Garika Party Viraya vs. N. Subhai Chaudhary, 1957. In this case, Supreme Court laid down the following principles. Right of remedy. Right of remedy. So, that is <coughs> right of remedy for the suit. First appeal and second appeal. They are the, all the steps in a series of proceedings. Then, it is a substantive right. It is also a vested right to enter the superior court. Now, <coughs> you have to know the difference between the first appeal and second appeal. First appeal lies against a, a decree and judgment passed by the court exercising the original jurisdiction. Second appeal lies against a decree passed by the appellate court. Next, passed by the appellate court. Only remember, the second appeal lies only in the high court. First appeal can be on the issue of fact or issue of law, but second appeal should be only on the question of law. That too, substantial question of law. Right. So, appeal is from two, uh, number one, from decrees and also from orders. Of course, section 104 gives you the details in which sections only the orders. That means, for example, section 35A, that is ex ex costs and the exemplary costs. Alaga 91, 92 CPC. And like the public nuisance case, the last permission of Appeal ki vella section 104. Right. <coughs> Tarvata. Certain, uh, of course, uh, I will tell you later. In, the case, certain case, in certain cases, you can't go for appeal. That is, uh, small causes courts. Consenting decree and angala. If you both of you agree and ask for a decree, then consent decree me the mere appeal kelta ni gledu. Alage, petty cases, 10,000 rupees, that is, small causes courts me the kelta ni gledu. Alage, Ex parte decree, ex parte decree means what you have to go for a set aside petition. Then only you have to go for appeal. Straight away, it is not clear. Right. Allah please remember, no appeal against the case instituted, case instituted by the dead body or still born child. 96 clause 2 laws. Section 100 law, the high court should satisfy that there is substantial question of law. On a repellent decree passed by the uh, passed by the court, maybe ex parte also. I know it's only right. Alage, uh, asalu appeal lo yen section one hundred seven says uh, what happens? So appellate court lo number one, they will decide the case finally and the appeal lo clear cut tail chowtal mana sir. Second, koni sandar palo, koni issues frame kaagapote lawyer court chay kunda mante issue frame jesi. The, once again, the case will be remanded back to the lower court. That is remanding. Third, when the Sandarpal issues frame is in the room, the Mavul ga wall dry chair will be able to get a lot of money. And sometimes they can take additional evidence. If you have a class, you can see that there are no documents. If you have a mark, you can see that there are no documents. If you have a mark, you can see that there are no documents. If you have a mark, Right. Section 109 specifically deals with appeals to the Supreme Court. So definitely substantial question of law. SLP Ali, ACM the rule number to order party file of the rule number two law clear the The issuing court should give a certificate. I am in the Supreme Court ki certificate will take up the matter. So this is uh, regarding the appeal, first appeal and second appeal. Order number 41, I have told you the case laws, very clear case laws. Judgment should be specific, judgment should be reasonation, cryptic decision, ka go the DVI experts versus uh, uh, Jagadish Singh versus Madhuri Devi, 2008 case law, this applies to rule number 31 of order 41. DVI experts versus Shalimar Video Company, 2012, rule 23, where there is issue which is not framed by the court, then it can be sent back to a frame jc issue frame jc malla enquiry chairman jee trial chairman ni anaka pampu vachunu alage rupred srinivas reddy versus rupred krishna reddy 2015 idi inda document document produced in the court by witness 
అండ్ వెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ మార్క్డ్ ఇట్ కెన్ బి గాట్ మార్క్డ్ బై ద కోర్ట్ దానికి మళ్ళీ వెనక ఉండాల్సిన పని అనేటువంటిది లేదు రైట్ అపీల్ నెంబర్ ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ ఆర్డర్స్ టు ద సుప్రీం కోర్ట్ సో టెన్ మినిట్స్ అయిపోయింది కాబట్టి ఏ బ్రీఫ్ ఇంట్రడక్టివ్ నోట్ ఆన్ ద అపీల్స్ ఐ హ్యావ్ గివెన్ యూ సో ప్లీజ్ డెఫినెట్లీ యూ మే గెట్ అ క్వశ్చన్ ద ఎగ్జామినేషన్ పేపర్ ప్యాడ్ అండ్ ట్రై టు రైట్ ద కేస్ లాస్ విచ్ ఐ మెన్షన్ ఇన్ మై వీడియో సీ మై వీడియో వన్స్ ఆర్ ట్వైస్ టు గెట్ ఎన్రీచ్ విత్ ఎ లాజ్ అబౌట్ ఫస్ట్ అపీల్ అండ్ సెకండ్ అపీల్ థ్